Hello! Uh, this is, uh, hello gamers, this is Pangoria Fallstar. I saw this, uh, game demo being advertised. Games should be coming out soon, and I figured, uh, I would give it a try. So let's play this demo. It's supposed to be like an RPG of some sort. Um, I thought the art style just looked really cute, so... Acting, all right. This is a real fight, Chris Bell. Time to use your new skills. Thank you, Frog. Be swift, be precise. First, select attack, and then choose your target. Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Okay, so it's uh, Super Mario RPG rolls. Very good. Watch for your opponent's attack and press the button right when they hit you to block. Careful, Chris Bell. It will strike again. Make sure you press. Nicely done. Now give it your all. Fin well done, Chris Bell. But I'm afraid our work is not done here. Okay. So it seems to be like a Super Mario Brothers RPG style game where uh, your button presses affect. Who are you supposed to be? things. Uh, Hello, my name is... Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. Okay. Uh, Menu-wise, it actually reminds me of Lufia a little bit, but the I like how, like, oh, okay, I press left to pack to the left. I don't have any skills yet. Okay. That up. But I just take turns. Okay. Bad. I'm Christopher, by the way. Oh yeah. Then he introduces himself. Chris Bell. Chris Bell and Christopher. Oh God. Get get a new C name. Oh, I forgot to block. All right. Okay. So if I just press A without choosing anything. Does it. So you can kind of spam it a bit. Alright. So, and then after the fight, they have a, like a little Super Smash Brothers uh, display for the victory. They're like, hey, what? Whoa. There. Two less of them. They're chasing those like, things since I left St. Clarity. Oh. There, that's two less of them been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. Okay. It's like um, how in Final Fantasy game you always have the bosses be huge compared to you. So. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. Volcano! They broke our poor goblins! How adorable! Can we keep them? Gally, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Till I stop murdering them! I know, I know! I just wanna play! Not my fault they're all so... squishy! Yeah, typical... Typical villains, got it. Oh, and that's why we can't have nice things. I like how Volcano is the reasonable one. That's that's hilarious. My name is Volcano, I'm the reasonable one. Yeah, they're both cat as one. Oh, okay, super pretty. didn't defense. work. We can't touch them. How come he has the same style thing that they do? Oh. Christopher's a bad guy. Not even a scratch? Messed Can't up take the much more of the crystal. It is time. Use the crystals. Use the, the crystals. crystals. The crystals.
Chris Tails. Crystals. Okay, uh, Chris Bell. Chris Duffer. I love the art style on this, though. I really dig it. For some reason... It reminds me of something and I don't know what, but... Prep school, girl. Wait! My rose! Chris Bell! Chris Bell! Where are you? Chris Bell! I better not keep her waiting. Feels pretty good. Better not keep her waiting. Takes their time. If I pick every strawberry right now, maybe I won't have to do it ever again. Not how that works, Amelia. These just bloomed yesterday. If I take extra care of them today, they'll be even prettier tomorrow. Hold on. They both have glasses. Yeah. It's different color glasses. Hey, we have we have girls' uh, glasses. Okay, no glasses. your grandma, Chris, and how it used to be around here. Okay. Her grandma died, and suddenly everybody's an evil bitch. What's going on here? There's another one over there. Many chores. The kids in town get to go out and play. Every girl named Ella, I just feel like their name essentially means girl. It's a great visual style, though. Chris Bell, finally. Did you prune the roses yet? I'm sorry, Mother Superior. It's just my rose. He, the frog, it took it! Enough, enough. I've seen that look before. Find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. Hold on. This is how things are different without the grandmother? That doesn't seem super bitchy. Alright. So you have a little frog went this way, but I don't see no frog. I don't see a way out of there that way either, so I guess I just go down here. Okay, there's little rose petals. I have to get my I have to get my rose back. Okay, let's see what it is. Okay, so there's little rose petals leading the way. What a lovely day for a walk in the woods. Chris Bell, what's the hurry? Good morning, Marco. Have you seen a little yellow frog? A frog? Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? A uh, top hat? Then no. Maybe try the mayor's estate? There's always something going on there. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day. Poor Marco. North is Narum Cathedral. South is the main square. East is the road to the farmlands. And west is Narum Orphanage. So I'm coming from the orphanage. Okay. All right. Um. Check out the cool sticker we found. It's a skull. Mayor's estate. That Marco, he'll inherit this one day. He should help me take care of it. Oops. 
think about the future. It's not just the farms that will be renovated. It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town. Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning our fields. Money, power, your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you? Where's your proof? <laughs> Look around you. Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. All right, so Anton is a piece of it's shit. It's best for someone, but not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now see here, I never... Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Crisbell. What do you want? Apparently I want to listen in on some more of this uh, adult drama. I'm just a poor orphan child. Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go, hmm? May the lady light your way, Crisbell. Too many in town have strayed from her grace. Oh, thank you. I should go. Oh, the frog just wanted to show me relevant information. Why would someone do this? You're an apothecary. Yeah, yeah, good morning and all that. This way. So even if the people you talk to don't tell you where to go, the frog leaves roses, Hi, rose Polly. petals for you. I don't know, Chris. Between the crops, the monsters, the weather, it never ends. I just saw your dad with the mayor. They seemed really angry. Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always, we give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. <sighs> Sorry, Chris. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat, a top hat. He took my rose. <laughs> a frog in a top hat. Only you, Chris Bell. I haven't seen it, but I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral's as good a place as any to try. Okay, and then I'll see the frog hopping away. Yep, there he is. Got it. Thanks, frog. You're showing me the town. Flask of feathers was added to your bag. Oh my, I'm just a poor little girl, poor little orphan girl. I love how the, the, the way she walks with the skirt, it looks like she's hopping, but her legs are just moving normally. Like she's just running. But if you just look at the top, she looks like she's hopping. It's, it's, it's kind of cute. Alright, it's cathedral time. That's where the roses are sending you. If Mother Superior finds out I've come here alone... Okay. What's wrong with going to the church by yourself? What's, uh, what's the deal there, huh? What's the secret? What? Why... Why is that just her? Why is that just her and the... Look at this, though. Is that water or something? It's so reflective. Her 
in the garden. Crystals of time, Chris Bell. Ah, what are, I mean, who, how do you know my name? I'm a hopping patchwork frog. I know everything. I have a top hat. Hello. So many questions. Matthias the Frog, at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. Creeper. On me? Why? I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. By whom? What are these crystals? Why me? More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I... I can't... I don't want this. Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Powers? This is a curse. Immediately to the curse. Okay. Why is this even happening? You're upset. Perfectly understandable. But I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only, but sadly, no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. You just met me. I'm a talking patchwork frog. Trust me. I've been keeping an eye on you while you sleep. Fucking pedo frog. Why is. Okay, so now I have this triangle on me. Hold up. Okay, better he is as a kid. Older. She's younger outside. So this is him now, that's him in the future. Hold on. And in the future... That will not help. Okay. Let's try to see what she was gonna look like in the future. There's the boys there. It's current day. So I'm still in the current day. So there's the future. She's gonna be pregnant again. There's the baby. So this is the past. So there she is, younger, taking care of uh, the old man. Here she is in the future. There he is when he was younger. Here he is now. And he's gone in the future. Oh, snipes. Yeah, nobody takes care of the carpentry in the future. Interesting. Uh, town exit. Is this the overworld map? Oh my fucking god, this is adorable. Everything's patchwork. Is that where I'm supposed to go, or...? It's like a combination... It's kind of like Sleeping Beauty with the trees here, right? This tree here reminds me a lot of Sleeping Beauty. Um, kind of get, like, some... Uh, Revolutionary Girl Utena vibes from some of it. So here we are. He lives just over there in that hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. Okay. They went through and they did like three versions of everything. Wilhelm, answer the 
door. Go away, I'm busy. Open the door, you pompous child. We have important business. Matthias. Huh. Idiot frog. <laughs> speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispell. Um, sir? Crispell has opened both crystals of time. Ridiculous. Impossible. Why, not even I've been able to. Yet, it has happened. No. No, no, no. There's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time mage. As am I. And while my powers have led to my youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future. Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. Marbles. I lost me marbles. Tell me, what do you see in the future? A tree. It's growing from the seed I planted. Fruit tree to be specific. But take care, it will only grow if you care for it. Otherwise, it will wither and die. So, if I do something in the present, I can affect the future. Obviously. Has that not always been the case? Now, however, you have the ability to see these future possibilities. So choose your actions accordingly. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes. Go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. Okay, well, what's... There it is, it fell. Here it is, and there it is before. Was added to your life. Oh, okay. I don't exist in the past, I don't exist in the future. Carpenter when she was younger, and then she became an apothecary. So, she has in the future less potions. They are angsty teenagers, and then um, cat wrangles makes it a little bit hard to see things. Check out the cool st Check out the cool sticker we found. It's a skull. Interesting. Let 
They both have ice cream. Hey, Chris, if you see my mom, don't tell her where I am, okay? Should, because if I don't, she's just going to be keep popping out more babies. In the future, it's all, like, not taken care of. In the past, it wasn't built yet. You can see they were still building the statues in the past. There's nothing in the fields in the future. Let me see... The houses... In the past... Looks like the houses were smaller. There's my... Oh my god, her is a little kid. Did you find your frog, Crispell? If not, you're welcome to look around here. He's right here. He's walking with me. Nobody else sees the frog. Oh, check that out. Everything's all industrial tractors in the future. Oh, okay. So the present we got windmills. So let's see. Yeah, a little all the smokestacks and pipes and stuff in the future. Mayor's talking about the industrial and the revolution of everything. No, how could this happen? Oh. child. Did something happen? I'm a time mage, and I can change the future uh, by doing something in the present. Because that's how time works. No, I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yes, he... He was just here. I need to find him. At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. Yes, Mother Superior. Now go find your friend. And don't take all day. You still have to prune these roses. I love how she gets to get away with this, like, fucking leaving town. And all these other girls are, like, still picking strawberries to the point of, like, hoping that they never have to pick another strawberry. Or sweeping. But I get to run around. I, I, I sense a bit of preferential treatment here. Let's see. I miss your grandma, Chris. Okay, so it's just the same shit. Alright. My little walking animation is so adorable. Alright, now to find a fucking frog again. Matthias? Matthias? I thought it best not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Yes, thank you very much, frog that's only in my head. He's patchwork, you're just talking to a stuffed animal. Hmm? Uh, Crispell, I'm sorry if I upset you by leaving. No, you're not. No, I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future, abandoned, empty. How could that happen? I don't know, but let's look around town. Perhaps your new powers can shed light on this. What a lovely day for a walk in the woods. Carrie, the town has no medicine! 
Only in the future, and only if you let it happen. If I let it happen? But... No, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, okay, Secretary Lan, I'm, miss I'm fully armored in the future. This will be the new face of the town! Oh, you're s- Oh. Okay. Someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Would have lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. Can you make some? Do I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. Digestion, great on a salad. One of them is ground death cap. Even the tiniest bit could be deadly. An important distinction, wouldn't you agree? Of course, with no labels, it's impossible to tell them apart. I can see into the past. I'll be able to relabel them. Can't you just throw them out and make some more? Sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. My father used to do all of that. He bottled and labeled them years ago. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. You can. Just look into the past. Me too. It'd be nice to have help around here. Since Dad died, though, I try to keep everything the way he left it. But there were only so many hours in the day. Sorry. I've got to get back to work. No wonder she's upset. They all look alike. 
I suppose they do. Let me try something. Uh, I can't see them in the past at all. Allow me. Press X to prepare a time hop and press L to make my PS hop into the past, okay? Time hop! Into the past! Just a little nudge! <laughs> a skull on it. I imagine this is the death cap. That sticker. I saw it today. Some kids were playing with one. That's fine. Check out the sticker we found. It's a skull. You took that from June's. Do you know what you've done? It's only a sticker. You can't just take things from stores. Especially not the apothecary. Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. This is as much proof as we are likely to get. Did you find it? Some kids took it. They just thought it was a cool skull sticker. I don't think they meant any harm. Of course they didn't. What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. Thank you, Matthias. Chris Bell, was there something you needed? Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare and it doesn't keep. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. Is there any glow fruit near Nareen? Maybe I can find some. I wouldn't get your hopes up, but ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. You might get lucky. I planted glow fruit earlier, so. But I'll go to the cathedral first. Good morning, Mrs. Magda. Do you know if there's any glow fruit growing nearby? Miss June thought you might. They used to grow by the lake, but I haven't seen one in ages. The seed you planted for Wilhelm. It was glow fruit. Thank you, Matthias. I'm sorry, dear. If you find one, let me know. They're beautiful, glowing purple and orange. And they only bloom every ten years or so. Really lovely. Thank you, Mrs. Magda. That's just what I need. Alright. So, there's some uh, aspects of uh, Chrono Trigger in this. There's the tree I planted. But the fruit is going to take forever to grow. Then perhaps we should skip ahead. Or rather, I will. Okay, that's that. Uh huh. Alright. To the future, Braga boy! Oh god, he's so fat. He's so fucking fat. Here it is! Now to bring it back to Crisbell. to do. Let us go see the apothecary. You're a time mage. Immediately starts maging time. Both directions. She unlocked two time crystals. <laughs> I have glow fruit. Will one be enough? 
That will do. Give me just a minute. Here you go. There's enough only for one dose, but it's free of charge. Thank you. Okay. Well, I finally have the green leaf tonic. I thought you'd be happier. What is it, Crisbell? There's only enough to fix one house. What can I do? Ah, yes. Even with the crystals, there is only so much you can do to help. It appears you must make a decision. How, Matthias? No matter what I choose, one of the houses will be ruined. You are a time mage, Crisbell. Decisions such as this, they will not be uncommon. Wow. And then they FOMO you. Okay, so she's going to be pregnant and homeless. And the apothecary... Who we can... Do. Who can help in the future will be fucked over. Alright. Let's go talk to Carpenter Joe. Oh, he's not the one that I do the decision with, huh? Let's do the box there again. Chris Bell, what can I do for you, dear? It's your shop. It has an ash blight infection. Ash blight? Why would you think that? I overheard the carpenter talking. He thinks a number of buildings could be affected. How awful. I remember my father telling me stories about Ash Blight. He said it came from a spore that grew near the farms. That it spread on the wind after the big fires. Well, no time to waste. We don't have much green leaf tonic. But perhaps I can find another solution. From the farms fires I see so I need to prevent the farm from catching on fire thank you again Chris Bell you're welcome June I'm glad I was able to help someone to be able to help everybody Chris Bell look do you see how your actions have affected the future but what about the Millers? Where will they live? One problem at a time, little one. Remember, most of the town remains unchanged. We're no closer to finding out what happens to the orphanage. We have more immediate issues to deal with. Look! Smoke! The farms are on fire! That's what brought Ash Blight to Nareem the last time! We've gotta go! Chris Bell, wait! <laughs> Too late. It can't be. Crisbell, get out of here. It's goblins. They've torched the fields. Run, girl. There's nothing you can do here. I can help. Just let me. Don't be foolish. Let the soldiers do their work. And pray that they're up to the task. He's right, Crisbell. The crystals won't be enough. Quickly, we must see Wilhelm again. Again? What is it now, Time Mage? Goblins are attacking the farms. We've got to do something. Matthias said you could help. Did he? He's right, I suppose. With your talent and my training, perhaps in a few years. Years? The goblins are attacking now! Patience. You're a Time Mage. Try to act like one. <laughs> hmm. 
There's always the sword. Ridiculous! The sword is much too powerful for a novice. The strain would be too much. Enough. You asked for my help, Frog. The sword is the answer. If the girl is everything you believe, she may well survive. It doesn't matter. I'll do it! Very well. This should be interesting. <laughs> He's so happy going into towards the sword. You've done it. More and more interesting. The sword, so much power. I can feel it moving through me. Um, phrasing. And just in time! Quickly, Crisbell! The goblins! But, Mother Superior! My friends! I have to protect them! Go. I'll look after them. Meet us at the cathedral. We'll be safe there. Now go! Thank you, Wilhelm. <laughs> They're trying to reach the town! This is a real fight, Chris Bell. Time to use your new skills! With the sword enhancing your powers, you should now be able to send your enemies to either the future or the past. Give it a try! From the future, what an asshole. Who are you supposed to be? Hello, my name is. Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. What does it do for me, though? of them. They're chasing those things since I left. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. <laughs> Look, Volcano! They broke up. Gally, we've to- Till I stop murdering them, I just- <laughs> huh? This isn't working. I'll hit them harder. Wait, their shield is made of metal. Use your water skill, and I'll send them into the future. Got it. Wait, the future? Oh. I'm going fast to him, and he uses his water skill. Perfect. Now to open the future crystal. How clever! What's this? I feel stronger. <laughs> Big mistake! Careful! They did something to our shield. Some stupid rust. <laughs> Who cares? Okay. 
for now. to hear of this. Go! More like that secretary, am I right? <sighs> Fine! This was your way of getting the farm. You wanted this land for your industrialization project. This was all you. Industrialization? Industrialization. Oh, God. That was a weird pronunciation. Everything I do is for the future of Nari. For your daughter's future. I would never put anyone at risk. But your secretary would. Mayor Anton, if I may divert our focus. This was clearly set up by an unknown party. Yeah, you. And on that topic, tell me, Criswell, where did you get that strange sword? From your grave in the future. Miss Lana, this was a gift from Mr. Wilhelm and Matthias. Oh? And 
And who are these strangers you seem to know so well? What do they want with Nareen? Oh, uh, I don't know. To protect it, unlike you, you fucking bitch. Is it possible? Did they set this up? And are you part of their scheme? Nope, you are. Miss Lana, no! We were just trying to help! Enough! Guards! Seize her and the shielded fellow! Yeah, see? We'll lock them up until we can extract a confession! We have to go. Now! To the cathedral. Wilhelm said he'd meet us there. You made it! I knew you'd be able to wield that sword. Well done. And, as promised, your friends are all here. In fact, your mother's superior. Crispell, is that you? Thank the lady! Mother Superior, I'm so sorry! Shh, dear. Your interesting new friend here has told us a great deal already. I won't claim to understand all of this, but you're safe. That's all that matters. Safe? Maybe for now. The Empress won't stop with Noreen. The Empress? The Empress of Time. A formidable foe and far beyond our current capabilities. And those idiots in town are too busy pointing fingers to see who saved their worthless skins. Run from her if you want. I'll go myself if I... Enough! Don't be stupid, boy. You'll need all the help you can get. Which means, I suppose, that I'll be going as well. Going? I can't leave! The orphanage! My family! No harm will come to your sisters, dear. Not while I live. But Mother Superior, it's not just that. Matthias, tell them! Matthias? Where did he go? He's slippery, that one. Even for a frog. He'll turn up soon. Count on it. The soldiers will be here soon. Quickly, girl. I... fine. I'll go. But I'll return, I promise. You better. Those roses still need pruning. Don't think I've forgotten. Now, get moving. Merciful lady, watch over my Crisbell. Guide her, shield her, comfort her, for she has a long road ahead. And when she is finished, Oh, great lady, take her gently in your arms and bear her home. Be safe, dear girl. Oh. All right, there we go. That's uh, Chris Tales. Um. That was a pretty cool game. Uh, thank you guys for uh, joining me on this journey of uh, checking out this demo. Um, uh, it looks like a really cool RPG. Um, when it comes out, uh, if you guys are down for it, you can support me on Patreon and I'll do a Let's Play of it. Uh, thank you so much. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Please comment, like, subscribe, and support me on Patreon.